Hey everybody, this is Mickey from MyBashfulLife.com and I'm here today with a little refrigerator motivation for you. I have some tips and tricks that may help you keep your refrigerator organized, clean, and bright. Number one tip I have to keep your refrigerator organized is to purge those items that you don't really use anymore. This way you have more space to keep the items that you use on a daily basis clean and neat. That is my number one tip. Another tip is to use containers in your refrigerator. Um, I like to use a container like this that I got at the dollar spot at Target for three dollars. Inside I like to put all those items that I put in the kids lunches like jellos and puddings and yogurts and things. Those items that you know when they're in your refrigerator at random really can make it look messy. I use these other containers that I got from the container store. Yes, I know you're shocked that I spent more than a couple dollars for a container, but I really think these were a great investment for me. Um, and this container here we use for a lot of our condiments, our mustards and our barbecue sauce and teriyaki sauce and those things. You can pull the whole container out of your refrigerator to use at dinner time and then stick it right back in its spot. Containers like this for eggs that you can see through are excellent because at a glance you can see um, that you may have to do a repurchase sometime soon. These containers here are for just miscellaneous items that I have purchased to put away for a recipe like sour cream. Um, this is usually full of butter so you can see how I need to get myself to the grocery store. And we also like keep things we don't use as often like coffee and um, buttermilk mix back there. I like to keep them in containers like this because it keeps them stored and neat. One of the best ideas is to use a container for the meats that you purchase, you know, for dinner time. Oftentimes you bring some chicken home from the grocery store and it can be a little drippy. You put it in your refrigerator and then it gets all over, you know, the shelf in your refrigerator. So you have to take everything out and sanitize it and put everything back. If you use a container for meat items like that, um, all the mess is contained. You can take the whole bucket out of your refrigerator, stick it in the dishwasher if you need to, and pop it right back in. So this is a great container to utilize. One of the most inexpensive and easiest ways to keep your refrigerator nice and clean and bright is by using plastic placemats as liners for your refrigerator. Um, these are the mats that you can find at Walmart and Target. I got these for $1.99 at my favorite Target. I got enough to do all of my shelves for my vegetable drawers, for my deli drawer, and even for um, the shelves in my doors. These are just so useful. If you have a spill, you can wipe it up so easily or even take it out and clean it in the sink and replace it. And I like to switch these out seasonally um, like I just redid the refrigerator for the spring and the summer and I think it looks so nice and bright and clean when you open it. So it's a really great idea to use these placemats. One of the places you can really see the benefits of purging all those items that you really don't use in your refrigerator is on the shelves in the doors. It just makes more space for those items that you use all the time and you don't have to cram everything into the shelves. All those items that are there are what you use on a regular basis and having a little bit of negative space really helps keep things looking neat and clean. Another place to use um, containers for organization in your refrigerator is in your freezer. Here I have um, a big bucket. This bucket I got at um, the container store, which is specifically for your freezer, but it holds um, frozen pasta and some vegetables. I have a wire bin that has some other vegetables and ice cream in it. It keeps them neat and clean and should a bag burst that has like corn or something in it, it'll hold all the mess inside of the bucket and it's so much easier to clean it out that way than have to scrub out the inside of your freezer. I also have a container in the top drawer of my 
of my freezer for some frozen items like chicken soup and spaghetti sauce and waffles. And as you can see, I really like the use of negative space. It just gives the appearance of much more um, neat and clean and organized. So I hope you found a tip or two that you can use in your own refrigerator. And if so, leave me a little comment below and let me know how you organized your refrigerator. And thanks so much for spending this time with me and I'll see you in the next video.